Don't that remind you of some slavery? The the slave going hard, picking cotton. Overseers. You too. What's up, man? I don't usually do these type of videos, but I had to today. Just go on a little rant, and I'm not complaining, but I gotta talk about how working a nine to five is literally modern day slavery, man. If you've ever worked a job, and me personally, I've worked so many jobs, like bro, warehouse, pizza delivery, endless Publix, anywhere you name, you know this one common trend. Remember, I said this: the person working the hardest never gets paid the most. It be the managers sitting back on their phone, getting paid triple what you make, not doing shit. But sit, but telling you what to do. Now, don't that remind you of some slavery? The, the slave going hard, picking cotton. Overseers not doing shit. Same shit. Same shit. And they not making as much as the master. You feel me? It's levels to this shit. The boss. It's the same exact thing. No difference. What can you do with the money you get from my nine to five? $20 an hour, what, you can't get you a crib, bro, inflation is out the fucking roof, one job ain't gonna get you no crib, you need two, so what can one job get you, some food, I, that's what slavery, is the same shit, bro, it, it, it's not meant for you to get ahead working a job, the system that they created was not meant for you to get, get go vacationing, buy you the clothes you want, it's literally made for you to work. That's it. Like work, go home, work, go home. It's a fucking setup. So now after reflecting on what I used to do, I can see that shit was a fucking waste of time. Like all the hours you're putting into working a nine to five, you could be putting into working yourself and you'd be way better off. I wasted all those years working for the, the highest chains of people who way richer than me. And I'm just putting money in their pocket. And it's like, I'm not saying, I understand people, you have to work a nine to five sometimes to keep going. Sometimes you have to, you have to work that, then do a little content on the side or start your business on the side, or when we start doing affiliate marketing on the side, some people just like to quit and then they get lost. Cause it's like, they ain't, they ain't really, you feel me? It wasn't their time to do that. So sometimes you have to work a job to get to where you need to go, but that don't mean I'm not finna call the jobs out on the bullshit that they are on, on. Like, they need to be called out for this shit, bro. And then it's like, the jobs aren't paying shit, bro. I just seen an article come out that the Walmart billionaire is the richest person in the world. The fucking heiress. You nigga, do you know how she... Why does somebody need that much money? Like, bro, I think it was like... 300 billion i don't know bro i don't know how much it was that's not the point it was a large fucking amount it's like bro why does somebody need that much money man they're paying walmart associates 15 to 20 dollars an hour if you gave that to the heiress of walmart she'd fucking kill herself like straight up she would she would not be able to live she wouldn't know what to do and I guarantee you, it's somebody in Walmart right now, either the janitor or the person behind the cashier, straight up slaving eight to nine hours every single day for $20 an hour. So it's like, in the long run, starting up a business is the best decision, but it's hard. That's why some people don't do it. They say, and some people have responsibilities, I have to take care of my kid. I have to take care of this. I have to take care of that. But if you're young and you're seeing this, bro, do it now. Because when you get older, the responsibilities come out the fucking ass. Right? I'm 20. So I'm not. I know some people have it worse than me. But when I was 18, bro, life literally fucking changed like instantly. Like 17, 16, you think life is sweet. You think. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I was just walking around. Anything can happen. The second you turn 18, you hit that 18 mark, you're going to see this shit is not sweet. You're going to get responsibilities out the ass. You're going to uh, pay some bills, uh, pay that car insurance, uh, pay that phone bill. And you don't know how expensive it really is to move out. That's why you got to save your money. But that's a video for a whole nother topic. Staying on topic with the job shit, man. Your parents, most likely when you turn 18, they're going to tell your ass, hey, bro, you got to get a job. And you can't, don't be mad about that shit because 
some people with jobs make more than some people that start businesses because they know how to save up and they know how to, you know what I'm saying, really do well with their money. It's about money management. But at the same time, in the long run, you're going to want something for yourself. You're going to want something with your name in it. You're going to want, you can't give that Walmart or Target paycheck to your kids and say, here, have this, have this, do something with this. That shit is almost useless to them. It's nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? You have to have your own shit with your name on it so you can actually pass it down. And it's like, even the job shit puts you in a slave mindset, which is that's to go even deeper. Cause then you start thinking, damn, this is all I'm, this is all I can do. You start and on some mental shit because we all know like this is a spiritual world. You know what I'm saying? On some mental shit, you start thinking, damn, is this what I'm always going to be? Am I always going to be somebody that works a job? Am I always going to be somebody that's working for somebody else? And you start thinking that's your identity. And then you have to really switch your identity to realize, no, they start that shit early from school. When you were from a kid, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, they get, they getting you ready. What you got to do in class? Raise your hand. Hey, can I use the restroom? What? What? You have to raise your hand to use the restroom? You line up for lunch? What? line up to go to lunch it's like this shit's just jail it's just they teach you how to answer questions in the right way you feel me school was setting you up for that shit from the beginning all of this shit from a kid is setting you up early you know what i'm saying early early seeing this shit that's why i tell my friends man do content if you want to do content because you know some people are scared to post content because they think oh i don't know what those people are going to think about me and if you and if you one of those people that say that that's the dumbest shit ever because those people they not gonna pay your bills man they those people that that you thinking damn i wonder what they think about this they ain't gonna send you no money you down bad they don't give a fuck nobody really cares about you and even if they have an opinion on what you do just tell them this all right all right you give me the money that this content about to make me now you you send me you send me the hundred thousand i'm about to make this month that i since since, since your opinion since you actually feel like this you you sent me a hundred thousand in I'm getting what they gonna say to you. Fuck no, nigga. I don't care about you. That's what they gonna say. No, I'm not giving you shit. I'm not giving you a dollar. So when they say that, that's when you realize, damn, okay, I'm the only person that got me in this life. Like, it's only gonna be a couple of people that care about you for real. Shit. Yo, mom, yo, dad, maybe some cousins, some family members, and shit. One club, maybe one or two close friends. Most of your friends gonna get slime y'all, get a girlfriend, and do some old shit. They, they ain't your friends for real. The first opportunity they get, they gonna slime you, snake you out. So it's like, who opinion are you really caring about here? You know what I'm saying? You gotta really get rid of that fear, or you're gonna be in fear forever. And that's just what it is. That's what I tell my friends and stuff. But it's like, man, this nine to five shit, man. I'm, I, I can't go back to it, man. I can't go back to it, bro. I feel like Kunta, I feel like the new age Kunta Kente, bro. I feel like the new age Kunta is no difference between Kunta, Harriet Tubman, and, and, and anybody who don't want to work a job. Simple. They about to replace all this shit with AI anyways, bro. Bro, sooner or later, AI is about to take over, bro. You not understand that? All these low-level jobs by 2020, 2029, they a robot. How, bro, do you see we're, we're riding around in electric cars and shit? How hard do you think it's going to be for Elon Musk to create an AI that flips burgers? That's the fucking easiest task to do. That's the easiest task to do, bro. Flipping burgers, bro. I already, I pulled up to a Popeye's, uh, like, last month. I, I, I'm, I'm saying, yo, I'm talking to the lady, but, and it was a robot. Yo, what's your order? AI lady. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's over. It's the fucking future. So it's like, why am I going to put myself in that position to work these low-level jobs? I, it won't pay for shit. Inflation's up out the ass. Apartments are fucking... 2000 for a one bedroom where I live in Atlanta. So it's like, nigga, I'm not doing this shit. The high level jobs that really pay, you oh, you got to be you got to be one of the smartest 0.5 to get that. An associate's degree, that ain't enough. You go, we going to need a masters, you going to need some experience. And it's really just connections that get you into the building in the first place. It's like the system is not set up for you to win, bro. This system that they created was some bull. Go to college. I know people in college right now just because their parents told them to. They got the most dumbest degrees, bro. They got the most stupid degrees.
Sports management. Why are you in college for four years with a sports management degree? You want to be a fucking PE coach and they think they're going to get out and make some money? It's like, no, bro. No, bro. You have to wake up, bro. Like, like, like not even it just be cliche, but it's like you have to literally wake up. Like, bro, a sports management degree ain't going to get you shit. But it's like, man, no. Nah. This was just a lot of yapping, you feel me? But now nah, I'm just trying to let y'all know, give y'all some inspiration, man. If y'all got any, you feel me, anything to say, let me know in the comments. Let me know your experience with jobs. Let me know, you feel me, what, what you've been going through, you know what I'm saying? Here to talk to you, man. But y'all let me know, man, how y'all feel about this.